and welcome everybody here in twitch chat and everybody on youtube for some winter karma we're going to be trying a uh kind of a i guess more mid-range deck here with karma as you can see we're, we're basically playing a whole bunch of frostbite cards and ash and playing some freljord stuff and splashing ionia that's what we're kind of doing here so um we're gonna have like a good amount of uh basically i wanted a deck you know maybe to maybe hold up against uh burn that's kind of the goal here with with burn being everywhere now the funny thing is we actually haven't played against burn in our 10 matches today which is kind of weird because that's all we've been seeing over the last week but um we got health potion in the main we got kindly tavern keeper a card i've basically never played before <laughs> but you know like this is just another anti-burn card. So we got like those two uh, life gain cards in here. Plus, uh, Freljord gets us lots of cheap interaction, you know, with Brittle Steel and Elixir of Iron. Um, and then, uh, you know, we have like our Starlet Seers to grow our allies. Ash can end games really fast. And uh, everything. Then, you know, we got like our Challengers with Rhymefang Wolf, make our things bigger with Hearthguard. Gonna try Wolf Rider for ramp. So Wolf Rider does a few good things in this kind of deck. It, you know, like if we can get that, uh, so it's kind of hard to turn on Plunder all the time, but if we do turn on Plunder, get that empty mana gem, that's amazing for Karma, because then you're getting closer to having Karma leveled up, of course. Um, and plus then you just have like more mana that you can spend and, and get ahead. But then also because it has Overwhelm, this deck can make some really big creatures, whether it's, you know, Omen Hawk or Hearthguard or Starlet Seer. Sometimes Starlet Seer can pump something up two, three, four uh, times. And, you know, you can have like a, a huge four mana Overwhelm creature with Wolf Rider. So that's what I'm thinking there. Um, and then, you know, and then we just also have... so. Using the the Freljord cards to have like good good cheap stuff, early interaction, uh, early creatures that we're playing, but then we may not be able to go over the top. So that's why we're kind of splashing Karma to help us go over the top. Karma getting us those random spells, and then also being able to let us cast those uh, multiple spells as well. We do have a combo if we do have an enlightened Karma, so we cast the spell twice. We have one Winter's Breath in here that is just a one sided kill all of your opponent's creatures with an enlightened karma in play because you cast it twice um you know so you basically frostbite all the enemies with the first one the second one destroys them all after that so here we go let's try a little bit different version of freljord i'm calling it winter karma that's what i'm going to call this one here <clears throat> All right, Sejuani, Swain. Hmm. Let's get rid of the archers, and we'll keep Starlet Seer and Karma. Come here. Come here. Pop. Are you just gonna sit there and claw at the chair and and everything? You're gonna come up here. You can do. Okay, looks like you're just in there. Um, yeah, I, I really like Freljord too. Um, but that's yeah, like that's what our deck's doing. It's like a it's like a control, a, a freeze control. Um, but Freljord can have some definitely. You can definitely play like aggressive decks with Freljord. So this isn't the only kind of thing that you can play with Freljord. It's not a bad Shadow Assassin. It's like the good news is we're curving out real well, but the bad news is I don't have like mana to play my one mana spells because we curved out too well.
Okay, yeah, if you're not very too interested by by being too aggressive, um, yeah, this, this could be a, a deck that interests you then. Stop killing my poor shadow assassin. Hmm. Seven five ash isn't bad. I will unite the frail lord. You die here, Queen Ash. As the arrow flies. This is trades with the omen honk. All right, they're taking 10. No blocks on Ash. Okay, so that's going to round start, do one damage to everything. So that means it's going to do three damage to me. So play this because I want them to play another thing. First, so we make another thing not block. And as long as they don't have removal for Ash, the game's over. There we go. Winter's Breath. That was a good game. That was a, a good game of Rune Terror between two Frelior decks doing some good things. We both started, you know, we both playing like one drop, two drop, and so on, and and a bunch of back and forth. That was a good game. Because, yeah, so basically our Ash was going to level up, so they weren't going to be able to block with anything, and so we were going to attack with le for lethal. If their last thing in hand was another unit to play, the Ash would frostbite that other unit. So, yeah, they weren't going to be able to block. So they had to have that last card be a removal spell for Ash, which there's not... It's not that many deal four damage things in Noxus and Freljord. Yep, almost top hundred. Almost. We we're we were closer at the beginning of the day. We kind of ranked down a little bit, but now we're going to work our way back up. Looks like Karma Lux is the popular thing. I actually thought about playing Karma Lux today. I was actually kind of planning on playing it tomorrow during the rank up Sunday. I wonder if I should mulligan Ash. No. Yep, whenever Ash levels up, then anything any any enemy with zero power can't block. Yep. So all, all their things would not be able to block. Why not more Winter's Breath? It is, you know, it is a slow spell. And it costs seven mana. It's not something we always want. Okay, well, this is certainly a different Karma Lux deck than I imagined.
Starlet's here is good. Kind of want to play Starlet's here there. I should have played Starless here. Head to the base. Eat up, friend. Master. All the world on one arrow. So if they have removal, we'll have the flash freeze. I kinda like what our opponent's doing. I need to spend a day of play weird champions in in like a different deck and so like basically a a day of like just fooling opponents like you know karma lux you think like control deck and then and then it's just like actually like bannerman like demacia bannerman that just has lux and then and then like a karma is like the champions but you know you just gain a bunch of percentage points from your opponents um, sideboarding incorrectly. Yeah, just trolling with champions, yeah. All right, so they're sitting back. They're gonna hold their uh, spells up. I really don't think this is that good of attack, right? Because then, like, they have they're gonna have all their protection available. So I like that I just got to, you know, invest my battlefield to look like, you know, to kind of even it up, invest my mana with that, and now, you know, I want to be able to respond to their things with like my flash freeze and that kind of stuff. Um, and so that's why I played Starlet Seer. Like, if they would have, like, tapped out and played another unit, I probably would have gotten Ice Veil Archer. Let's not ruffle our feathers. Mm, that's just... Oh, gosh, I'm at 11. Maybe we block with Ash... Yeah, I do need to survive. Still want to see the six champ deck? Troll Tuesday. Fair enough, fair enough. Didn't really imagine back-to-back. -back. I, I kind of figured they'd have, like, one thing, like, you know, like, a repost or something like that. But, yeah, back-to-back. -back. That hurt. Maybe that's what we do for for me Monday this week. Like you know, we we play meme tier decks. You know, Monday, meme tier Monday. We just completely fool people with the champions. So you know, we'll do you know Elise plus Vi, and we'll make like an aggro deck. So it's not Karina control, and they think it's Karina control. That's an easy one. We feast tonight, Varg. 
Yeah, if they would have played a, a pump spell on the badger, I could I could frostbite it again afterwards. Alright, so we'll have a leveled up Ash for our attack next turn. <laughs> it's also a body though it also attacks and blocks yeah like yes it is a, a slow frostbite but it also is a body that you know attacks and blocks and you you do need a critical mass of frostbite stuff so you can reliably level up ash it's very important like passing Why would they be passing? Saucy Mailman! With the huge raid! What's up, everybody? Hey, Saucy. Welcome, everybody, from Saucy Stream. We're um, playing a Winter Karma deck right now. Where we're kind of going with, um, you know, some good early interaction. You know, thinking about, like, something to try to beat Burn. Got good early interaction with like brittle steel, elixir of iron, some cheap, cheap creatures. You know, like Starlet Seer, Icefield Archer, like that kind of stuff. Get in some some health potions. There's a kindly Tavern Keeper. No one goes hungry. So their plan all along was to attack, and uh, then basically we just we're kind of going like Freljord splashing Karma, basically. No, no, there's no entreats. Um, we have the other, only other Ionia card is the, you know, the three mana 2-2 two -two that draws a card. How am I blocking? I guess it doesn't matter if we wait till next turn and frostbite him, or if we frostbite him now, if we can uh, get rid of him by blocking. Yeah, that's that's the plan. Using frostbite to beat burn. <laughs> if if burn's too hot, gotta cool him down. That's the plan, anyway. That's going to make it a lot more difficult for us to win. That's for sure.
Yeah, Karma also just just gives the deck a, a good late game. Like all the Freljord stuff gives you gives you a good early game. And so Karma helps give you a good late game by getting you like the free spells and the double casting and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I don't I don't care at all about unyielding. So don't, don't have to worry about judgment. I mean, obviously I do care about unyielding, I guess. So he just keeps Lux around and gets the final spark. The final spark's kind of a problem, but hopefully they have to do some other chump blocks. They had back-to-back -back earlier. I can definitely see them having another back-to-back -back and that being really problematic. Them using that final, you know, that final spark on the ash, and then how I just caught, cast my two ashes before, like that was, that's where I kind of went downhill. I, I should have kept one of the ashes in um, in reserve just in case. Stop drawing brittle steals. It's not the card to finish out the game. Have y'all so have y'all been playing against a bunch of burn still today? This is our uh, let's see, this is our twelfth game today, and I've played against zero burn so far. I'm wondering if if y'all are kind of experiencing something similar or not. Then what? Aren't you gonna finish your statement? Play against Demasi the most. Yeah, I have played against a lot of Karma Lux today. This is the first Karma Lux that's like an, an aggressive build. The other Karma Luxes are like start with like, I guess like Shadow Assassin and Grizzled Ranger. I'm playing against a lot of Bannerman Scout. Okay. Yeah, like the, the last few days it's just been burn everywhere, but that now today, it's a little different. So we're one and one. You know, it's like maybe if I didn't play, you know, maybe if I didn't play both of those ashes, flash freezes, if I would have kept one. Who knows? More control. It's just basically been all control today. Yeah. There's a visual bug with the bonuses right now of like how much XP they give you. Uh, but they it actually it gives you the right XP, but it it says that it's giving you more than that for some reason.
I do like this lead up of like Shadow Assassin being able to turn on Wolf Rider. Man, it is enticing to play Starlet Seer also. I think we go this route. Oh yeah, we're playing Avaros and Hearthguard. That card's good. Alright, we gotta stop them from plundering. Plundering all my good cards. If I if I pump up my stuff with like Hearth Guard when you know, then they'll take it and it'll be the plus one plus one. Um I think they it looks like they Oh no no, okay, so this karma is the other Omenhawk. I was wondering like what the other Omenhawk card it was. Um We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. So I'm thinking Karma can survive. Pretty nice. My, my one mana rhyme thing wolf doing work. <laughs> yeah, the pirates are good. This is another thing that, yeah, we're starting to see a, a bunch of black market birch in now. Playing against black market merchant a ton today. It's real good. I really like playing Black Market Merchant decks myself. I do wish... Uh, let's see, we're just going to play these two. Sounds good. I do wish they would speed up the animation for Pilfered Goods. You know, when it triggers the plunder. It takes like three seconds to cast. When it really doesn't seem like it needs to. Who says I don't? I'm gonna play this and they're gonna pull for goods and take two bigger things, aren't they? Should I just play Ash instead? Faster than my arrow? Maybe I do. I think not. My selection speaks for itself. Swiftly now. Deck import is wrong. Like that. Yes, yeah, so that that should be right. How close are we to getting enlightened? Two more turns. It's round seven. We we did ramp once. We have eight. So once we're enlightened with karma, the winner's breath gets rid of everything. We got a war mother's call, dude. That card could be awesome. Cast that next turn. That could be awesome. Yeah, this War Mother's Call could be really exciting. Catalyst of Aeons. Wait, so if I if I cast Catalyst of Aeons right now, am I then enlightened? So can I right now for 12 mana play Catalyst and then play Winner's Breath and kill all their stuff? Seems like a thing I can do.
It seems like a play I should do. Killing all their things sounds good. Yep, enlightened. Everybody's like, do it for science! <laughs> for science! No! No! Alright, so we didn't kill all their stuff, but... Good news... Is now we, we got rid of two denies, and, and, and uh, if we cast War Mother's Call... You know, with Enlightened, we get double War Mother's Call. Cast this thing. I want to see what my I want to see what my spells are before we make more decisions. Oh, we get a Sonic Wave. Okay, Shatter, more Sonic Waves. Interesting. I definitely want to save my mana for War Mother's Call next turn. Like this lets me play the Hearth Guard, pump those, pump the things up even more. Now we have 12 mana for that. I do need to clear out more room. <laughs> I guess you can win them all. Get a 9-8 Rhymefang Wolf. That seems pretty good. Okay, so how are we doing this? Show me a target. Who are you attacking? You, all right, so you're gonna frostbite that thing. So Ash is gonna die. Just attack out. Yeah, I don't know if I really need to, like, if I'm supposed to be trying to save things. Or just forget, like, let everything die and then just double War Mother's Call. Like, am I supposed to save Ash? I mean, I do have a backup Ash right here. Hmm. And I have to kill this Twisted Fate, don't I? I don't want to. Soak it in. Yeah, so I can I can cast Shatter to kill Twisted Fate. I guess double War Mother's Call is not really that good right now. Because if, like, if I cast it, I get, you know, I only get, like, one thing, then another thing dies, and then beginning a turn. Yeah, I mean, it's just not... War Mother's Call is just not to play. I wish it was. But it's not. Okay, I don't I don't really know what the point of that deny was.
malevolence. Twisted Fate's doing its best. Twisted Fate's keeping them in there. Kinda. Yeah, it's keeping them in there. Uh, we are... Yeah, we're... We're like around 160. Resonating strikes. Yeah, that's burst speed also. Okay. Yeah, they cast the two spells, they'll get the red card, so like these things are gonna die anyway. I mean I, I could protect them with elixir, but I really wanna like protect these things. Alright, we'll steal something with pilfer goods. The the thing I'm worried about War Mother's Call is I'm kinda worried about milling out. Ugh. I'm bouncing twisted fate. How do I I can't ever kill this thing? What are the three enemies? Can't ever kill this thing. My dogs are just like running around crazily. I don't know why they're so restless. The I need to like go let them outside or something. But they're just like hitting my chair and, and everything. Hmm. For anybody that doesn't think Twisted Fate's a very good card, just watch this game where we had, we had, we had every like literally everything, we had everything and and uh, yeah, like Twisted Fate is just, um, you know, just kind of been dominating. Now do I cast War Mother's Call? If I cast War Mother's Call, Ash dies. All right, I guess Ash dies. Come, fight by our side. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. OK, 
Okay, we got a Karma. Are they gonna... They're gonna mill out before I do. Twisted Fate is completely dominated. So we'll see. Like, I'm, I am at four. If they have two direct damage, two more direct damage. Oh, gosh. That, yeah, that thing just... Yeah, so I'm dead. I need a Concussive Palm. There's... I had no business losing that game, right? I feel like I had no business losing that game. Alright, I'm letting these dogs outside. They are just really bothering me. Come on, come on, girls. I feel like I had no business losing that game. Oh yeah, there's there's a lot of things that say yeah. I should have just played the concussive. I, I again couldn't play War Mother's Call. Basically, could never play that card. Cool, we get like I'm happy with those trading. Um, I think they're probably gonna want to use removal on Ash, so I want to get another five mana card in before combat. You know, if, if I go straight to combat, they just kill Ash, and then I'm doing the same thing anyway. I'm not really worried about any blocker at five mana. Maybe they want to just play Karma, but I can't. I can't pass up the, the eleven damage. You know, I could. I could have just end the turn, and then they don't get to Karma, but I can't pass up eleven damage. All right, they can do that. Uh, sure, Boot. Yeah. Uh, let's get the Shadow Assassin to block. Perfect. Firing. Not and ready. All right, be right back. I'm gonna go let those dogs in.
All right, and I gave him some treats. I hope they're not playing Yone. But I'm actually I'm planning on playing this Wolf Rider pre-combat also. And getting this in to be able to attack. But I hope they're not playing Yone. Attack. Um, I think it's possible Karma will be nerfed at some point. Um, the the last patch that we got um, last month, they had two cards on the watch on like what they kind of called a, a watch list, and that was both Karma and Ezreal. So it's certainly possible that you know those two cards will be nerfed at some point, but um, yeah, it's hard to say. I. Like the like the burn deck, I I absolutely expect something to be nerfed from that deck, and not like a bunch. Like I don't expect them to like kill burns. So you can't play it anymore. But I expect something to be nerfed in that deck a little bit. I kind of think like Boom Crew Rookie will be turned into a one three instead of a one four, for example. Definitely something I can see happening. It's not bragging if you can back it up. Sorry, excuse me. So so far we've been pretty rewarded for uh, playing stuff pre-combat in this game. Okay, two and two. There we go. So two and two with one game that really felt like we should have won. Really felt like it could have could have been a win. Yeah, so that's that's what we're going to be doing up next. Actually, is is because like there are a lot of people that want to know like you know what's like the best budget deck and and things like that. Like what what should they play? And so I am going to do the no champion, no epics. Um, but you know, budget burn deck that's really still really really good. It's thirty commons and ten rares for the for the deck, so it's seventy five percent commons, and it's it's still great. And so yeah, that, that's what we're gonna play up next. Basically, so the deck that we're about to play against right now. Today you reach Plat again, playing Ezreal, uh, Twisted Fate, Infinite Draw. Nice. Awesome, same loss. So are, are you using the list that we used at like the end of the video? Like, you know, like that we, I guess, I don't, th I don't know if we made any changes after the Ezreal, did we? But nice, you made, you know, reach Plat using that deck, that's awesome. Okay, yeah, perfect. Yeah, okay, cool. You didn't change anything from the list? Nice. Yeah, that was in our, um, that was a meme tier Monday deck. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, if you want to check out that deck, you know, you can go to my, my playlist, go to the meme tier Monday playlist, and it, it'll be easy to find from there, the infinite draw deck. That deck was sweet, yeah, because you, you have so many decisions every single turn with that deck.
a nice static shock. Very nice static shock. So it is a very nice static shock for them. The good news is uh, we're still at 20. That's the good news. And yeah, I'll be playing Karma next turn, hoping Karma gets me some spells. Give me some health potions. For the Empire. No. Not for the Empire. Not for the Empire. There's a health potion. Don't you love how the rear guard always goes, they won't get past me? When that's like all people do is get past the rear guard. It's like one of my, my favorite lines in the game. Okay, so we are going to block. Let's see, here and here. Seven. So three out of five for Ash. Is that all? They got past me. <sighs> I'm just gonna cast this inside of ages. No, I'll pass. Basically, uh, you know, just creating a random spell because, like, we're not gonna we're not gonna spend mana on the other karma anyway, and, and getting enlightened probably isn't happening before the game's over one way or the other. Hey, Nasa, thank you. Welcome. The body must thrive for the mind to be free. That was a very hasty opponent. They really did not need to be that hasty. Um... How do I still stay alive though? I guess I don't I don't have that ability to right now. Show me a target. Uh, 
darn. I was hoping they blocked Ash. Hoping they blocked Ash. So they still get the random spell. Perfect. Great card to draw. Um. No. Darn. I drew the card that was gonna stop me from taking damage from those. They need to draw another unit, though, not a direct damage spell. From my end. Alright, so he still lost a burn. Man, that burn deck is so good. That burn deck is so good. Um, so there we go. So that's, that's Winter Karma. Yeah, I like this deck too. I like this deck too. Um, there's a lot of good things here. Sorry. Hopefully they're stopped. They may bark. They may bark again. Um... Yeah, like there's there's a lot of good things here. The you know like I don't know. Like that that static shock they had was huge. That card was was uh real big. Um But I don't know. Yeah, like like that game felt like it was like very close to being like to us winning and the like we had the one game that that I definitely feel like we should have won. That was the real long drawn out game that definitely feel like I had to take some wrong decisions at different times for me to lose that. Um, but yeah, this is this is a this is a really good deck. It's it's weird, you know. Sometimes you go two and three and you feel like the deck's really good. Sometimes you go you know like three and two and you're you're like, eh, this deck wasn't that good. But I I liked these cards here. I'm not sure exactly what it was missing, like if there's anything to change. The 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 cards for the most part did exactly what we wanted them to. There was a lot of times that Iceville Archer wasn't that great, especially like the one toughness. Everybody's trying to to beat Agar right now, so everybody's playing like cheap removal. Um, but it is kind of necessary for the Ash. And there's a lot of times like where it was like a four two because of Omen Hawk or uh, Starlet Seer or, or Hearth Guard or anything else like that. Um, I wonder if like going into a little bit more spells wouldn't be bad. I don't know exactly what though. Like I, I don't know if like we want to be playing like Sonic Waves that gives you like multiple spells for your Starlet Seers and you can challenge with like Ash and stuff like that. I don't know. That could be too cute. Um, could play Shatter. I've I've kind of liked uh, the other one that more than Chatter. What's the other one? Caught in the cold. That's the other one. Caught in the cold. But with that being said, when you're playing Karma and you have Enlightened Karma, Shatter is going to be better there. Um, they don't have Incline tournaments in Runeterra yet. Um, that's something that I hope is uh in the future but no that's not that's not in client you know they, there's not in client tournaments yet um you know like it's still it's still just a, a real new game but you know there is mobile now um and you know they, can, they continually add stuff and i i think that uh i think that's going to be on the horizon it's just not here yet <laughs> yep yep it's like it's basically what the the card game's missing yep Hey, Rivalis, doing good, doing good. All right, well, uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube later on, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this deck. Let me know if there's anything uh, that I'm missing here. But even though we went two and three, it really felt like just some different cards. I don't know, like, this deck felt good. I, I think it, it uh, yeah, it looks good. All right, but that's it here for Winter Karma. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.